Contextificator. The contextificator, yeah. Thank so, you. Um, Often I'll be reading the news or something, and there'll be a few places or people or stuff that I want to know more about and want to kind of... So I'll end up copying a bit of the text, open a new browser tab, search, read that, go back. Jumping backwards and forwards, half an hour later, I'm kind of not quite sure where I started and whether I've actually found out anything hopeful. So the contextificator does that for you in the page. So you have a page like this, uh, and it's a bookmarklet at the moment. So you click... Uh, <coughs> And it uses the um, content analysis to understand what the story is about. It pulls out some of the uh, terms, people, places that are on there. And then it gets some data from BOSS and from Wikipedia and things like that um, to give you that context to the story that you're reading. Um, and if you scroll down a bit, there's some of the other people there. Uh, you get a map if it's Italy, and it tells you about Italy. Um, you can also, if you want to know something, uh, oh dear. Uh, you can also select text and do the same thing, uh, and it'll tell you about those particular places uh, when it gets around to loading it. Um, so that's it. The the tech um, it's using YUI, uh, YQL, Content Analysis API. Uh, and th the BOSS API as well through YQL. There's obviously a Google map there somewhere or other. Um, the kind of uh, how I retire uh, on the basis of this, um, there's obviously contact, uh, scope for ads that are particularly targeted at the, the kind of sentence that you're interested in. Um, it would also work uh, directly as a button uh, on the page itself, so you could kind of offer it as a service to content providers. Um, I'm afraid I didn't get as far as my media queries for mobile, so it doesn't do all the nice orientation change and stuff on a mobile device. Thank you, Contextificator.